Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts. This video is about the formation and fate of pyruvic acid. First we will see how this pyruvic acid is formed. Glucose on glycolysis that is when it is oxidized in the presence of oxygen it forms pyruvate. Lactic acid when it is oxidized by the enzyme called as lactate dehydrogenase, it forms pyruvic acid. Deamination of alanine leads to formation of pyruvic acid. It is formed from oxaloestate by decarboxylation. So, decarboxylation of dicarboxylic keto acid, oxaloestic acid, which can be spontaneous decarboxylation or catalyzed by the enzyme oxaloestate decarboxylase, it forms pyruvic acid. The catabolism of certain amino acids like glycine, serine, cysteine and threonine also forms pyruvic acid. It is also formed from the malic acid by the action of enzyme malic enzyme. So this particular reaction requires NADP as the coenzyme. Coming to fate of pyruvic acid, how this pyruvic acid is utilized? Pyruvic acid forms acetyl CoA by oxidative decarboxylation. And during this reaction, NAD is reduced to NADH and this reaction is catalyzed by pyruvate dehydrogenase. So pyruvic acid forms lactate by reduction and it also forms alanine by amination, addition of amino group. Pyruvate forms glucose by gluconeogenesis. It also forms malic acid by the action of enzyme malic enzyme. Finally, pyruvic acid also forms the oxaloestate state by carbon dioxide fixation reaction. So this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme pyruvate carboxylase which requires the biotin as the coenzyme. 